Hi, I'm Sammy the Seal, and I'm going to be introducing you to your fun activity today that involves me, an Arctic animal. In this activity, you are going to learn some interesting facts about Arctic animals, and you're also going to try out Arctic animal yoga poses. These poses will help you build your strength, balance, flexibility, posture, body awareness, energy, focus, and confidence. Have fun with me and my Arctic animal friends. Directions. Work on the Arctic animal yoga pose while Sammy the Seal teaches you fun science facts about the Arctic and all its amazing animals. The Arctic is a very cold, windy, and snowy place located around the North Pole. The icy Arctic Ocean has life ranging from the microscopic, like zooplankton, to the huge, like whales. There is a lot of land within the Arctic Circle. Land within the Arctic Circle is tundra. Long periods of darkness in the winter and light in the summer also affect Arctic life. Arctic animals that live in the Arctic, either full-time or seasonally, are adapted to the extreme cold conditions. Some animals hibernate during the cold season, and some animals migrate. Seals are marine mammals. They are warm-blooded, air-breathing mammals that live in or near the sea. They have four flippers. Though not as fast in the water as dolphins, seals are more flexible and agile. They have great senses. Their eyesight and hearing are adapted for both air and water. Their slick fur coat helps them glide through the water. They also have a layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep them warm in the cold water. They spend most of their lives in the water but come ashore to escape from predators like sharks and killer whales. A seal's whiskers help it to detect prey in dark, murky waters. Seals can sleep underwater. Beluga whales are also known as white whales. It is a marine mammal with a prominent forehead and an all-white color. It is one of the smallest species of whale. Unlike most other whales, the beluga has a very flexible neck that enables it to nod and turn its head in all directions. Belugas live together in small groups known as pods. They are social animals and very vocal communicators. They use a language of clicks, whistles, and clangs. Its sense of hearing is highly developed and its echolocation allows it to move about and find blowholes under sheet ice. The majority of belugas live in the Arctic Ocean. Caribou are also known as reindeer. It is well adapted to cooler climates. Its fur provides insulation in winter and flotation for swimming. These members of the deer family dig for food using their large hooves. The underside of each hoof is hollowed out like a big scoop and allows the caribou to dig through snow in search of food. Caribou can reach a speed of 50 miles per hour. Young caribou can already outrun an Olympic sprinter when only a day old. They are the only deer whose males and females both have antlers. The Arctic hare is also known as a polar rabbit. It is the largest type of hare. 
An Arctic hare looks like a rabbit but has shorter ears. Unlike other rabbits, it can thrive in extreme cold. It relies on its thick coat both to keep warm and for camouflage. They are strong runners and can run at high speeds to escape from predators. Arctic hares don't take short hops like bunnies. They use their powerful hind legs to propel themselves like kangaroos. Arctic hares are herbivores and eat the leaves on plants. They usually dig holes in the ground or under snow to keep warm, sleep, and hide from predators. The snowy owl is a large white owl. Males are almost all white, while females have more flecks of black. Young snowy owls have black feathers until they turn white. It is one of the largest and heaviest species of owl because it is heavily covered in feathers to keep it warm. Snowy owls have excellent eyesight and hearing. They mainly hunt rodents. In flight, snowy owls generally cruise low to the ground. Most owls sleep during the day and hunt at night, but the snowy owl is active during the day. The Arctic fox is also known as the white fox, polar fox, or snow fox. It has a small round body with thick fur and a fluffy tail to help it survive its cold, harsh habitat. Even the bottom of its paws have hair to give the fox good traction as it races across icy ground. The tail is also called a brush. It is extra useful because the fox curls it around its face like a scarf when the frigid wind blows. An arctic fox fur changes colors with the seasons of the year. In winter, it is white to blend in with the snow. During the spring, the fox sheds its winter coat revealing gray fur underneath. The arctic fox preys on small creatures such as seal pups, fish, and seabirds. It has a great sense of smell and excellent hearing. It also eats berries, seaweed, and insects. Arctic foxes often follow polar bears to eat their leftovers. Polar bears are also known as sea or ice bears. They are the world's largest land predators. Male polar bears may grow 10 feet tall and weigh over 1,400 pounds. Females are about half that size. They can move across snow, ice, and open water. Despite what we think, a polar bear's fur is not white. Each hair is a clear, hollow tube. Polar bears look white because each hollow hair reflects the light. Underneath the fur, a polar bear's skin is actually black. The black skin soaks up the sun's heat and helps them stay warm. Polar bears have wide front paws with slightly webbed toes that help them swim. Their paw pads with rough surfaces help prevent polar bears from slipping on the ice. Polar bears have been known to swim 100 miles at a stretch. They mainly eat seals. Penguins are aquatic flightless birds. They have dark and white colors that look like a tuxedo. This helps camouflage them and keep them safe in the water from predators. Penguins do have wing bones, but they are flipper-like to help them swim. Most penguins feed on krill, fish, squid, and other forms of sea life caught while swimming underwater. They spend about half of their lives on land and half in the oceans. They catch their food underwater and raise their young on land. The largest penguin is called an emperor penguin, and the smallest penguin is called the little blue penguin. 
Larger penguins live in colder regions, while smaller penguins can live in tropical climates.